Hey, what's up? In this video, I plan on teaching you guys how to use variables and how I use variables when it comes to creating my video games. Stay tuned. You're watching the video from the Cold Lab Studios, where we're doing some programming in nearly all the scenarios. Make sure you subscribe to Cold Labs for more content. Now let's go. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your favorite software developer, Tyshine, aka Cold Labs on social media. So I want to go about showing you how I can use variables or you can use variables, what they are and how it can be applied to your everyday life when it comes to programming. In my case, I'm going to show you how I apply these things to my video games. So if you already know a little bit about programming and everything and you want to learn about the 2D game development that I'm teaching, go ahead and skip like midway through the video. I'm going to begin talking about it around the time frame. Everybody else, let's go to jsbin.com real fast. Once you get to jsbin.com, on the left hand side where it says body and all the other stuff, go inside the body, let's make three headers. So you type H1 and then ID, then put the equal symbol and inside of that, what you're going to call it, cat. And then let's put the word cat noise and then close it off with H1. Now let's copy that, let's paste it, and then let's paste it again. But where it says ID equals cat, let's change the word cat to cat 2 and then where it says cat on the next line let's put cat 3 and then instead of having cat noise let's change that to a bunch of cats and then in the next line under that let's put change me to so what's going to happen is that all three of these things are going to display on the right hand side of the screen right now it sends one thing but we're going to tweak that using variables all right so when you go to the tab where it says javascript let's type a and just put a equals zero so a variable basically stores you know data and stuff inside of it It could be an actual number or a string a string can be manipulated it can't be added on to actual number so we're going to do a equals zero then then on the line under that let's put a equals 10 kids got the flu there we go so why do we have a equals 10 and then a equals 10 kids got the flu so what happened here is that the actual A is being overwritten by the last thing that was written because JavaScript reads line by line. So no longer does A equals 10, A equals the thing that's under 10. So the next thing you want to do is actually manipulate the stuff on the left hand side of the screen where it says H1 ID equals cat and those other cat 2 and 3. We're going to change that. So what we need to do is actually get the element. So we type B equals document dot get element by ID and then put the open close curly braces then in inside that you want to put the word cat but make sure it's a string and now what I want you guys to do is actually copy that and paste it and then paste it a second time so now you should have B on there three times saying the same thing so let's change the the second B and make that letter C and then down the next line let's make the next letter D after that let's go back to where it says cat and change that to cat too and then the next thing, let's put cat3. So what it's doing is getting the stuff on the left hand side and calling it inside these variables. So if you go to the next line by hitting enter, let's do b.enter html equals meow. So on the right hand side, you're going to see that no longer that cat equals cat noise, it equals meow now because we're changing it. We're actually using this in the actual scenario. The next thing we want to do, let's do c.enter html equals meow a lot so all you gotta do in this case is just basically just copy and paste it and change the word around on the next line let's do d dot enter html equals a you notice this time it's taking the actual variable and applying that it's not just taking a bunch of words that we're typing out you, you can take a variable and use it anytime you want to call it so now let's see how we can use these variables in a 2d game scenario seeing that this isn't my course how to become a software developer without a degree I'm skipping past all of that and I'm showing you guys how to use simple variables in Phases 2D Game Engine. If you guys are making games using Phases 2D Game Engine, leave a comment below and if possible, I try to leave you a solution if you need it. So when I open up this game I created, it's not finished, but when I open this game I created it in Visual Studio Code. I'm going to show you a whole bunch of different variables, but I'm going to actually show you this specific variable itself and how to call it. So let's call this variable the cat we were talking about and then let's make this cat that we're talking about equal to pink cat there we go it's not hard to find let's type wtf equals 
this dot add dot text and then we got to put the x and y parameter so do open close we're gonna do 300 comma 400 and then let's put the string high so now when the game loads back up you're gonna see the word high populates but we can actually change that let's go to where we put the word high and let's put the the actual variable the cat we were talking about inside where high was and now when the game loads back up you see the actual variable is being displayed on the screen even though it might be small it's still there in another video i'm going to show you guys how to manipulate the text and everything if you like the video go ahead and hit that subscribe button other than that i'll see you around take care